I watch every single video of yours or, or you know, Instagram, Facebook. I was never, ever nervous. And I really attribute that to, because I knew Dr. Nyack was doing my surgery. He's the best of the best. And we are post-op day one with Lisa. How are you? I'm great. So I'm here. I'm great. I love it. Lisa came bounding out of the car this morning. She beat her nurse here. She beat her daughter here. Yes. Um, yes. I was anxious to get here. Yeah. Well, she looks like a million bucks. We did a big three, what I call it, just neck coming up to the face into the brow. We also did upper and lower eyelids, did a lip lift, little tiny bit of lip filler on the bottom to keep them parallel, and then yeah. full face laser. Yeah. Um, you said that you were not nervous before of all this. Why? Why? No, why were you I, nervous? you know, I got asked that question all the time before I came, you know, aren't you nervous? Aren't you nervous? This is a big surgery. And it's, I never was, I was never, ever nervous. And I really attribute that to, because I knew Dr. Nyack was doing my surgery. He's the best of the best. And it put my nerves at ease. I never felt nervous once, even coming here yesterday for my surgery. I really wasn't nervous at all because you were doing it. Thank you. So I noticed you have a bottle of water there with you. Why are you why are you why do you need a bottle of water for this interview? Well, I just took about I don't know eight pills. But <laughs> the medication is really giving me yeah. cotton mouth, and so I said to him, I said I'm going to have to have water during this because my mouth will dry right up. So yeah. it's actually very common. Most anesthesia medications have a little, little bit of a lingering dry mouth side effect to them, or even dry eye side effect to them. Um, some of the pills that we prescribe have a dry side effect to them. And when I do gland work, I will often inject a tiny bit of Botox into the gland stump so that we don't have saliva leakage later. And so until all that stuff wears off, have a little dry mouth. Yeah, temporary. Temporary. Yeah. Um, you called your husband yesterday. He wanted to see how things looked. What, what how did. did that go? Um, it, my daughter was good enough. She's with me. My courageous daughter is taking care of me. But she took a bunch of pictures, you know, front, side, and everything, sent it to him. And within, what, minutes? He called and he said, oh, my word, you look amazing. I mean, you picked the right doctor. <laughs> so, yeah, he was thrilled with the results. So, oh, I'm, you know, and I knew he would be. But, yeah, he could. He just said a wonderful job. Oh, thank you. Will, yeah. will you describe to them how your first night was? So um, what the ups and downs were, yeah. everything? Um, I had a really hard time sleeping. And I think a lot of that is because you have to lay flat with no pillow. And I'm not used to that. I'm a side sleeper. So that was difficult. I did have some low grade uh, headaches because you said brow lift will cause that. But you know, the, the nurses and I, I have to give a shout out to the RN services. They're amazing. If you're ever questioning whether you're going to do that, you need to do that. They're amazing. And so uh, we include that the first 24 hours, you can't say no, we send them home with yes. the first 24 hours. Many of our patients elect to retain them longer than that. But the first 24 hours, you just can't say no. They're going to go home with you. Yeah. Yeah. And, and they showed Tara, you know, everything that she needs to do when they leave and she takes over and just can't recommend them enough, you know. But um, but no, the, the little, you know, the low-grade headache, the sleeping flat, and then, of course, the swelling. This morning I woke up and I really felt swollen. I mean, yeah. really swollen, almost to the point of, you know, not anxiety, but more swollen than I thought I would. Yeah. But I yeah. think it's gone down since I've gotten up and walked around and just got, you know, it, it seems to have helped. And then the gooey eyes. Yeah. Tell them about uh, that. Well, actually, when I came out of surgery, I would I couldn't even hardly see and I didn't realize that, you know, that was going to happen. And I almost like, oh, and they said, normal, Lisa, normal. So, um, but all day, you know, it's just the gooey. I couldn't see. Everything was blurry. And now I'm getting kind of the goopier stuff. And, but you're going to take care of that for me. So, yeah. So there's a couple of things going on. We use a lubricating uh, protectant in the eyes under our corneal shields. Some of that makes you goopy. Um, this laser ointment, sometimes it'll melt and run back in the eye. That'll make yeah. you goopy. And there is a hidden incision behind the lower eyelid where I do the lower lid surgery from. Ooh. And all incisions, all skin surfaces weep a little bit when they're fresh. And so it's weeping a little bit. So between that weeping incision, a couple different kinds of ointment, it's not surprising. Look, goopiness is pretty common yeah. for a few days. Very, very normal. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, no, no pain. Just maybe a little tight and uncomfortable. But to say, oh, I'm in a lot of pain, no, not at all. It, 
it's actually going very better than I expected. One so. last question for you. Actually, first, let's just turn this way okay. and see what you look like. I could not be happier with how she looks on day one. I mean, this this will be an absolutely perfect. It's not going to look crazy. She's not going to look 23. She's not going to look like an alien. She's not going to look mm -hmm. super tight. She's going to look like she's got genetic lottery. Every Pick the right parents, live a healthy life. That's what you're going to look like. Mm -hmm. Turn this way. Last question for you. Um, it's pretty brave to get up here and do this this video. What what made what were you? I know at one point you're thinking about it, then not thinking about it, then decided. Tell me that process. Well, when I first worked with Whitney and we were going out through all the paperwork, I signed the papers. Yeah, absolutely, I'll do it. And then I watch every single video of yours, or, or you know, Instagram, Facebook, and of course I read the, I read the comments, and there was some negative comments on some of these brave women that came and did this before me. And I thought, do I want to subject myself to that, you know? But then I got to thinking, oh, you know, whatever. I, I you know, I, I guess if that's, if that makes them feel better to degrade someone for doing something like this, that's, that's fine. And, and I really feel like I got so much out of it. I learned so much. And I learned so much about Dr. Nyack by watching these. Like and I told him, when I got here yesterday for my surgery, I actually felt like I knew him because I watched his, all of your, you know, your Instagram posts. So I don't know. I just said, you know what? I'm just going to do it anyway. And because um, I got so much out of it. And if I can help somebody else make that decision, if they're on the fence about whether they want to do anything, I'm more than happy to. Well, I can't thank you enough. And I'm going to tell you what, next time you're going to run this whole interview because you're better at this than I am. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Dr. Naya. You're amazing. We are here on day three with Lisa. How are you? Well, I feel like I've been run over by a bus, but yeah. other than that, my energy's a little better, but definitely hitting the peak swelling and the tightness and a little, not as much spunk as I had last time I did this. Yeah. So for those of you who uh, saw Lisa's first video, she's 65 years old. We did for her a brow lift, upper lower lids, deep plane facelift, deep neck lift, lip lift, a little bit of filler and some laser. Uh, day one, she came springing out <laughs> and was bounding up here and yeah. was rock star. Oh, yeah. I and thought. then here we are at the day here three. Here we are. Yeah. yeah. She hit the day three pothole actually I yesterday did. on day two. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I hit it and hit it hard. So yeah. this is what can happen. So yeah. No question. So, and what we say this in pothole, it's the feeling of swelling. That's oh, normal. Yeah. Swelling peaks at the third or fourth day after. And then there's the feeling like, what did I do? Tell, tell us about that. Well, yeah, you, it, it's it's kind of a mind, it plays a little mind game with you because you're just sort of like, did what, yeah, what did I do? I mean, is this actually going to heal? Because I can't believe that someday I'm going to look normal when I look like this. But like the saying, trust the process, and I do. But yeah, and when you get this swollen, it's it does kind of affect your mind a little bit and you kind of worry a little bit. but. It's going to be good. It's natural. So it's interesting is Lisa has watched all the videos leading up to this Everything. point. And she, having not seen people in real life, you see you see them on your phone. Yeah. And you see what they look like. And they're yeah. not you. And so to you, yours is outboard compared to everybody else. Oh, yeah. But from our perspective, Emily's behind the camera there. From our perspective, <laughs> yeah. when we see you in real life, you are right in the middle of what you should look like for yeah. what we did to you. Right. But since it's you and you're seeing you in real life in a mirror, it looks different than what you've seen on everybody else. You're right totally. in the middle of the spectrum. You look perfectly like great. So. Face me here. I'm going to show off your incredible result. She's going to have an absolutely beautiful result. And I, I can see through the swelling and everything mm -hmm. else. So mm -hmm. jawline, neckline, brow, lids, it's all perfect. Turn back this way. You were talking about a weird sensation that you had on your cheek. Oh, yeah. Tell us about that. Yeah, I asked you about that today because I, when I'm laying down at night and I've got all this goop on my face, it feels like I have bugs like crawling across my face. And I'm like, I know I don't have bugs on my face. So I asked him about it. And he said, it's like my nerves starting to grow, come back. But it's a very strange feeling. Very strange feeling. Yeah. As nerves wake up, reattach, whatever you want to call it, they go from no signal to noisy signal to clear signal. And in that noisy signal stage, uh, you can get what are called formications. And formications derived from the Latin word formica or formic acid is what's in an ant bite. 
So formications is the Latin description for it. It feels like there are ants crawling on my skin. And that's a very common sensation as nerves grow back. Yeah, it, it was different. It was weird. But yeah, so I definitely have that symptom too. There you go. <laughs> totally normal. Uh-huh. Well, it's, it's a symptom of progress. Yeah. Anything else you want to tell these guys before we continue with our just, follow-ups? Just, you know, I'm staying the course. Everything's happening the way you've explained it's going to happen. And I'm just excited to get my final result and, you know, see how this is all. I'm just excited. Well, thank Still you. Still excited. Letting, thank you for letting them see your down day because this will help a ton of people who yeah. are going through their own down day in the future. So it's really nice. Perfect. Absolutely. My pleasure. We are day five with Lisa. How are you? I'm better today. Every day getting a little bit better. So Lisa, for those of you who didn't catch the beginning, she is 65 years old. Uh, she flew in to have a brow lift, facelift, neck lift, or the big three. And usually it's the other order. Their neck is what bothers them, but we had to wash it up through the face and the brow right, to right. get it to get it right. Yeah. We also did upper and lower eyelids, full face mm-hmm. laser, a little bit of fat transfer, and a lip lift. We did. Tell me about your lip lift. Well, I was on the fence whether I really wanted to do it at first. I didn't know. I'm thinking I I all the other stuff I was sure of, and you did recommend it. And I thought I I'd sit at home and I'd do the, the lifting of the lip, but I'd look and I'd go, I I don't know. But then um, my daughter said, you know, you're doing the omakase, you know, trust Dr. Nyack. He thinks this would definitely benefit you. And I will have to say, I love it. It's probably one of my favorite things I did. So I'm so happy that I did the lip lift. Yeah, lip lifts are interesting because when you send me photos from home and you you take it with your camera, your mouth, your kind of muzzle is closest to the Mm -hmm. lens. And the rest of the face is further away. So that actually distorts this area. And sometimes I'll overcall a lip lift. Like in, I'll see the patient in real life and I'll say, oh, it really isn't as right. long or prominent right. as it looked in the photos. And so we'll take that off of the list sometimes in real life. Sometimes in real life we see you and you go, yep, it still looks like a good idea. Yeah. And thank you for trusting on. Trusting oh, yeah. It's kind of like the icing on the cake, really. It just kind of does that final yeah, it'll keep your proportions. When definitely. everything else looked young, we want to keep this proportion looking young. Right, it definitely did that. The so. other interesting thing is having changed the cheeks, having changed the brow, having changed the lip, the thing in between all of these areas can look different. So tell me about that. You were saying with your nose. Yeah, it just uh, it just looks like my nose is, looks different. You know, and, and some of it I'm sure is swelling, but um, yeah, well, it just looks a little bit different compared to what it used to be, but. And it'll be different for the better. Don't get me wrong. It, yeah. Most people like their nose better, even if they don't touch it after these kinds of things, because it takes the heaviness off the root of it. Yeah. It changes the proportion from the nose to the lip. Yeah. Um, your energy is completely different today than yeah. on day three. So yes. we have what we call the day three pothole, which is kind of you run out of adrenaline. Uh, you're starting to peak swelling, but you hit your mm. day three pothole on day two. I did early. Tell me how that happened, what your course was. Um, day, day one, I was like so much energy and I thought, wow, this is, this is a piece of, not a piece of cake, but you know, it's pretty easy. And then boy, day two hit. And then that swelling just hit and the tightness and, and fatigue. I couldn't, I mean, I just wanted to sleep all day. Once again, day three, same thing. And, um, so I hit it early, but, um, yesterday I could feel I was getting better. My appetite was coming back today, even just a little bit better, more energy. So I'm definitely going around that corner and getting better. So, but it just, you know, it's just something, it's a process. Yeah. Just, you know, it's just part of it. If you can get through those first few days, it's got it made. So. And we have different people. Some people, they sail through it all. Like it's nothing. Other people, they have 10 days of low energy. The average you feel pretty good on day one, two, you hit the day three pothole and you're climbing back out of it day four or five. That's, yeah. that's average. Um, you were mentioning earlier that before you got here in this process, that do I really have to spend 10 days in St. Louis? <laughs> What's your new opinion of that? Huh. Absolutely. That 10 day rule is a must. I get, I get, I totally understand why Dr. Nyack has that 10 day rule. Um, I wouldn't even feel comfortable going home tomorrow. I mean, I, I really feel I need that 10 days here with you and your staff. And, and, um, I totally get the 10 days now. Yeah. So all the stuff that's going to happen, it's going to happen in the first 10 days. Like I'm not worried about bad things happening after that. 
yeah. but even more than that, to be seen by either me or one of our team members on a near daily basis <laughs> and know that you could be seen pretty much at any hour of the day in that first most active 10 day window is actually, there's a peace of mind that goes with that too. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's very comforting to know that, you know, like that, I can get a hold of you and, and come in and, and have something looked at. So that's, you know, important. Yeah. Well, let's, take, let's give them a look what you look like. Turn towards me. So here is five days, again, 65 years old, neck lift, lower face to the brow. So we've got this all washed out so there's no bunching. Upper and lower eyelids, conservative little, little, conservative little lip lift. I did put a touch of filler into her bottom lip because when we rolled her top lip out, I didn't want her bottom lip to vanish. So I did a touch of filler into the bottom lip and then full face laser, little drops of fat here and there. Um, mm -hmm. I think you look absolutely Incredible. You look terrific. Anything else you want to let these guys know? Just love it. Um, happy I did it. Thrilled I did it. Thrilled I picked this guy to do it. So can, couldn't be happier above and beyond what I expected. Well, we are all grateful for letting <laughs> letting them follow along on your good days and your bad days. And they yeah. can see kind of how the journey goes. So thank you. Perfect. You're welcome. So we are day nine with Lisa. How are you? I'm great. Yeah. Are you lying to me? You lying to them? I wouldn't lie to you. Ever. Okay. No, I'm doing great. Good. Doing so great. each day a little better. Each day a little better. So nine days ago, we did the what I call the big three: the brow lift, face lift, neck lift. So we yes. got to make the whole bed, mm -hmm. and then some eyelids, upper and lower mm -hmm. lip lift, a little bit of full face laser resurfacing, touch of filler to your lower lip. Today is nine days. How have days? I think the last time they they heard from you was around day five or six. Mm -hmm. How have the last few days been? Uh, just every day I could feel that I was getting better, my energy especially, um, and my swelling is starting to go down, and um, I just feel more like myself mm -hmm. after, you know, but um, yeah, I'm kind of ready to go home. I mean, I'm ready to, you know, get back to my dogs, and and <laughs> that's one of the hardest things, because we do need you to stay yes. here for 10 days, because yeah. would you would you agree, like, it's a good thing that you're here for the, oh, the immediate no, aftercare? No, no question, no yeah. question about it. I really wouldn't have wanted to go home too much sooner than this. You really feel like you need to be here and, and come in and get looked after. And, you know, you just feel better. You know, when you're coming in every day and they're looking and if there's anything that needs to be caught, they're going to catch it. So, yeah, we see people on average probably seven times in that 10 day window. And we're available on the other three days as well, if necessary. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you're just hanging out in town doing nothing. You are here right. with us. Right. But uh, it also gets hard just mentally and, you know, Missing your dogs, missing your family, missing your routine, missing your mm -hmm. everything. So it, it does. Yeah. It does. But it really went by pretty fast, I thought. Yeah. And you were fortunate that you had one daughter for the first half. Yes. And your other daughter for the second half. Yes. I was very lucky that they pitched in and helped mom. Yeah. Not everyone can bring a friend or family member, but we strongly recommend it. Um, yeah. Just to keep yourself out of just mental spirals. Yeah. Your... Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It did help a lot. Yeah. Um, did you, have you gotten out at all when you, when you're in town or you've been mostly hiding? No, we've, I, the first while I, I was hiding and I'm like, I don't want anybody to see me. And then by about day five or six, you just don't care. Yeah. You just go out and do your thing. And, and, and so, and that helps mentally too, to get out. And, yeah. and so, yeah, no, I've been out and about, we've been shopping, we've gone out to eat. Um, yeah. Hasn't uh, changed my lifestyle at all over the last few days. I've been out and about. So she looks exactly as she should for day ten. The incision lines are still a little bit pink. Actually, day nine, not even ten days. The incision lines are still a little bit pink. Um, you can see the laser is fully peeled now, so he's mm -hmm. got beautiful skin. It's actually going to get prettier because we've worn away the old dead skin, but the ongoing regenerative process goes for the next several months. So it's actually going to get even prettier. Uh, she's still got some bre some brown red bruising, especially around the eyes. She was saying that you felt like your eye color, your eye your eyes look a little yeah, lighter. They did. I I don't think they really are, but when I look in the mirror, I'm like, oh, my eyes color looks a little lighter than what it did before surgery. But yeah, it's probably contrast because it's right now you have kind of brown brown purple bruising around it, so contrast makes sure. it look lighter. Sure. Um, overall doing well. Turn that way. Got a little bit of bruising left here. This is very common. That goes away. I tell people two to three weeks to be passable. So we're nine days into that 21 to 21 or so day window. Mm -hmm. Turn back towards me diagonally here. Um, just a hint of laser yet to peel. Incision lines are doing really well. This is all exactly what I expected at this stage. But what else can we what else can we tell them you think they need to know before we let you go? 
Well, it's just sort of a bittersweet moment for me because I've been here for 10 days and I've just loved it. I mean, thank, I want to thank you for coming with me on this journey because it's it's really been amazing. The staff is amazing. I can't say enough good things about it. And I'm just so thrilled that I chose you. I did a lot of research before I did this because I figured once I'm going to make the commitment to do this, I'm going to go to the best. And you are the best. Well, thank you. Uh, this is kind of an open-ended question. How do you feel now that you're you're nine days into it, but you're nowhere close to the end? And like, mm -hmm. how do you feel? Excited. I can't wait to get home. And, you know, this is silly, but I said to my daughter this morning, I said, I can't wait to put makeup on again. Because before I was like, you know, this, you're dealing with the saggy skin, the loose skin on the eyelids. And, and you were like, I wasn't even into doing some of those things. And now I'm really looking forward to, you know, doing something as simple as, as uh, doing my makeup. That's awesome. So, yeah. yeah. It can be something fun again. Yeah. That's yeah, awesome. Absolutely. So. Well, thank you, Lisa. You have been absolutely amazing. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Dr. Naya. It's been my pleasure. Hello, everyone. It's Lisa. Just wanted to give you all an update on my progress after my Omikaze facelift from Dr. Nyack. Um, can't believe it's going to be seven weeks and a few days, and um, everything's going super well. Just wanted to update you because, you know, you can see you know, for the first 10 days when we're with Dr. Nyack and we stay there. But a lot of times everybody, you know, wants to see, well, how do they look in, you know, six weeks, three months? Um, so I'm at home, I'm recuperating, I'm doing well. Um, I still have some swelling in my cheeks, um, some numbness here as well, a little numbness here above my, my lip where I had my lip lift. But other than that, everything is going really well better than I expected. So just want to give you a little update, let you know I'm doing well. I've committed to sending some more photos and uh, told Dr. Nyack I would be willing to do a three-month video. So um, be looking forward to that. I hope you found this information helpful. If you did, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon so you can see my future content.